a lot of liberals and some self-proclaimed patriots don't know what the rattlesnake means on the Gadsden flag. You know the "Don't Tread on Me" flag. Well, I'm here to I'm here I'm here to help you out. All right. So, anyways, the rattlesnake on the Gadsden flag. What it means. What it represents. What it's about. It's about unity. Liberty. Assertiveness. Individualism. And vigilance. It also means, hey, if you step on me, I will strike you. That's what it means. Guess what? The powers that be have been step on, well, stomping on you for the longest time now. What do you do? You do nothing. And you wonder why I say that this country is full of pussies and cowards. But then there's people who misconstrued what I said, twisted my words around against me and said, well, what have you done? I don't see you leading the charge. I don't see you leading the charge either. You're wearing your don't tread on me apparel with your thin blue line Punisher logos, shirts, whatever. You're wearing stuff that says come and take it. Or from my cold dead hands. How about you say what you mean? Actually mean what you say. Are you prepared? When the time comes, if a civil war, rebellion comes around, are you prepared to face the Grim Reaper? I seriously doubt that. I seriously doubt it. Someone might say, well, you left out, are you prepared to face your maker? I don't care about that. Really, I don't care. In my opinion, religions, they've started wars, blah, 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 blah. But are you willing to go the distance? Are you? Are you prepared to face the Grim Reaper? Now I got a little something something for the law enforcement guys and girls. Just a message. Now ask yourselves this question. Well, ask yourselves, just look at yourselves in the mirror. Because there's a lot of cops who believes that they they're good cops okay we'll, we'll see we'll see about that when the gun confiscation raids when the biggest gun confiscation raids in the u.s and the history of u.s commences are you going to follow those those orders because if you are going to follow those those orders be prepared to face the grim reaper It's not just, it's not just, you know, what they call law-abiding citizens that you have to worry about. Then you have to worry about gangs, one percenter motorcycle motorcycle clubs, all of them. You see, the enemy of my enemy is my friend. That's something you forget, you cops. And you self-righteous cop bootlicking supporters, that's something you forget. The enemy of my enemy is your friend, is my friend. You know, sometimes, sometimes some criminals are freedom fighters, real freedom fighters. They take matters into their own hands. Can you say the same? No? Okay, that's what I thought. <clears throat> now, got a message for the Patriots. When the gun confiscation raids commences, are you prepared to face the Grim Reaper?
same concept goes for the ATF agents, the punk ass ATF agents who want, want to act all bad. Are you prepared to face the Grim Reaper? If you want to go through your confiscation raids to confiscate people's uh, FRT triggers, fully automatics, whatever, you want to enforce, you want to impose your unrighteous, unjust will on we the people, or, or should I say, we the slaves, because we the people turn into we the slaves a long time ago. We the slaves have guns and have more ammunition than you. Are you prepared to face the Grim Reaper? There's a reason why they put the rattlesnake in the Gadsden flag. Rattlesnakes doesn't matter. Timber rattlesnakes, eastern or western diamondback rattlesnakes. Well, let me tell you something. They don't go around seeking it, seeking trouble. But when trouble comes to them, they ain't afraid to strike. Even copperheads. Water moccasins. Black snakes. They'll strike you. They'll strike you. Even the most venomous spider in the whole world they'll they will strike you mm -hmm. they will that's for damn sure now once again are you prepared to face the grim reaper but First, you got to ask yourselves this question. Are you prepared to defend yourself? To defend people's rights and freedoms? If you say yes to that question, then ask yourself this other question. Are you prepared to face the Grim Reaper? If you say no, well... That's why I believe some people are all talk and no action. The same people who said, pick and choose your battles wisely, Red. I'd say fighting for people's rights and freedoms is worth fighting for, worth dying for, if you ask me. Why do you think I go around and say, you know, everybody says they're an outlaw until it's time to do outlaw stuff. Everybody says that they're a patriot until it's time to do patriot shit. And yet some people in this country don't know the, the meaning of the rattlesnake on the Gadsden flag. Wow. Hmm.